Android Nation, we are back. Long time coming. This AT&T tower site that I've been tracking for the last several months, it's a zero build from scratch. No carriers on it. Owned by Tower Company. And they got uh, AT&T up there. So, um, you guys can check out some of my other videos on this. I've already posted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some testing for you guys here. Now that the site is finally live. Took several weeks, uh, but we're here. And... We're going to test the Samsung Galaxy S24. And we are connected to 5G+. Plus. I don't know if we're, um, we're line of sight, to be honest with you. We're pretty close. But um, I was driving by. I was getting like 850 megabits down. And uh, I was getting like 100 megabits up. All right, so the first test, 528. On the downlink, 74 for the uplink. Ping times at 22. Loaded pings are very low. Let's go ahead and run a, a second test here. We're gonna run a few, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna actually drive away from the site, but I'm gonna try to stay line of sight so we can kind of see how the performance is. Um, but it, it's pretty good, pretty good given the trees and homes and other obstacles. You know, you're not gonna get perfect results, I suppose. All right, so we got 19 ping, four jitter, and 612 down and 80 up, fresh. Ericsson gear. Alright, so this gear was just installed and it was never anything else. It was never Nokia. This is a zero build from scratch. And I think AT&T has their fiber out here, so you're looking at a multi-gig fiber circuit for sure. Uh, this, the line of access is a premium line, PL, uh, and it does have the turbo enabled. So we do have the best plan you can have on AT&T. Alright. Alright. And you know what I do have with me? I also have my Project Genesis, my dish line, and that one's stuck on AT&T, so we can even try that. All right, that's your well, slow test this time. 250 down and 73 down on here. All right, come on, stay. Project Genesis AT&T Wireless LTE. <laughs> what is that about? 198 down. Looks like about 18 up. Why is it an LTE? Uh, that's weird. It says 5G plus, I think. Hmm. That's weird. Go ahead and flash airplane mode on this thing. This one's in 5G, the Galaxy at least. Weird, why does it wanna do, why does it wanna do that? All right, there we go, we're in the 800s. 817 down. Ninety-seven up, so that that's a really fast one. Twenty-one ping, and then for loaded pings, we're at two eighteen and one forty-one. We got a three jitter. Oh, let's try the pixel. That was the LTE test for whatever reason. Why was LTE? I don't I don't know why it was an LTE. All right, Nineteen ping, three jitter. I just flashed airplane mode. Let's see what happens here it's not showing 5g plus for some reason but we definitely are connected to n77 the c-band and dod combo all right so 607 on the downlink about 70 on the uplink definitely a huge difference in performance there all right 800 and 100 670 all right uh this would be what qci 9 probably and this would be QCI 7, I'm guessing. Definitely makes a difference. Yep, the turbo feature and the QCIs on AT&T definitely make a difference. Let's go ahead and check the bands we're connected to. Alright, so we got 10 megahertz of band 66. 15 megahertz of band 2, 10 megahertz of band 14, another 5 of 66. I did not know they were all chopped up like that. All right, let's run a, run a test here. All right, 10 megahertz of 66, 
N77 for 40, that's your DOD. N77. The hell? All right, N77 for 40. It's weird. It's not showing all the bands. What's up with this phone? We're definitely connecting to a lot of bandwidth. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Well, maybe that's why it's we're not getting consistent results in those high speeds, right? Maybe this thing's got to get got some tuning or some testing. It's got to get done. We'll see if it's functioning normal over time. Maybe I'll come back and do another set of tests at a later later time frame, maybe next week or something or a couple of weeks. We'll come back here and give it another go. It does seem like it's not really perfect seems a little touchy and by this speed i'm guessing we're not getting the full n77 combos looks like we were getting the dod but not the c-band weird see should say the second carrier then I should say 80 megahertz. That's interesting. And that would uh, kind of explain why we're seeing these speeds, why we weren't getting the 800, losing a lot of bandwidth. Huh. See, it's like right by this farm. <laughs> kind of suburban, rural-ish. Right, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna stay in line of sight. We're gonna drive away from the site, though. SMT Nation. It is time for me to introduce to you Aura. Give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe. Keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period. Obviously, the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24-7 expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money-back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being one in four, this would change everything. You really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL. It's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen, aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.